morning children in previous class we have completed covalent bond formation and how many types of covalent bonds will exist what is covalent bond let me re recapitulate the concept sharing of electrons between two atoms or group of atoms of elements is called as covalent bond in previous class we have completed three types of covalent bonds are single covalent bond double covalent bond triple covalent bond and we have clearly studied about those all concepts so children today we are here to study about one more topic the topic is v s e p r t theory Those unpaired 
कॉमन लेते हैं ओवरलैपिंग पे हाइड्रोजन मॉलिक्यूल कंट्रीब्यूटिंग एन इलेक्ट्रॉन विथ हाइड्रोजन एटम एंड फॉर्मिंग थ्री कोवलन बॉन्ड्स द फॉर्मेशन ऑफ दिस थ्री कोवलन बॉन्ड्स कैन बी कॉल्ड एज नथिंग बट व्हाट बॉन्ड पे therefore with bond pair as well as with lone pair it is also electron pair it is also electron pair but this electron pair is called as lone pair this electron pair is called as bonded pair so what happens that between these two things a repulsive force will be get existing between lone pair and bonded pair repulsive force between bonded pair and bonded pair repulsive force between a, bonded pair and bonded pair repulsive force due to that repulsive force it is attaining a specific shape specific shape of a molecule can be get formed that explains first point coming to second point total number of second point is what total number of electrons in valence shell will give us covalent bonds as well as lone pairs How many number of electrons are existing in valence shell? Will represent clearly what? How many covalent bonds are being get formed, as well as how many lone pairs are existing? Covalent bond formation is nothing but what? Bonded pair. Already we have seen here. Bonded pairs as well as lone pairs together will give us total number of electrons in valence shell. These bonded pair as well as lone pair around the one atom it is existing. This is nitrogen atom, which we can call it as our central atom. Around this central atom, these lone pairs as well as bonded pairs will be arranged in such a way that they give one specific shape. They give one specific shape. That specific shape will be. Nothing but that, but the point is explaining by second one the answer. Okay, children, coming to third point. Third point is having had a lot of explanation there itself. If you go for a molecule, ammonia molecule here, to form an ammonia molecule, lone pair as well as bonded pair electrons are playing a vital role. What does third point explain? Lone pairs around the central atom. What is called as central atom? Already we have seen clearly that nitrogen N itself is called as a central atom. Around the central atom, if lone pairs are existing, then they occupy more space. See here how much space it is occupying here. The total we can call it as nothing but what space occupied by lone pair. Lone pair will occupy more space around this particular bonded pair. Coming to what is called as lone pair, lone pair is nothing but what unshared electron pairs we can call them. They are not they are not shared by any other atom. They will be at existing within that particular. They are linked with the central atom only. Or non-bonding pair also we can call them. Coming to lone pairs, lone pairs are nothing but what they are attracted by central atom only. Central atom of nuclei only they are attracted. They are not attracted by hydrogen nuclei, hydrogen nuclei, hydrogen nuclei only they are attracted by central atom nuclei. When it comes to bonding pair here. Bonded pairs are attracted by central atom nuclei as well as hydrogen atom nuclei. So these lone pairs, as they are creating a lot of space by means of one force. What is that force? A repulsive force around this particular bonded pair also. In between these two bonded pair also, there will be consisting of repulsive force. There will be consisting of repulsive force, but. That repulsive force will be lesser than that particular of lone pair. If lone pair repulsive force is greater and bonded pair repulsive force is lesser, then what happens there? The actual shape of the molecule will be get distorted. Means what will be get changed and attain a new shape with a different bond angle. 
with a different bond angle. That was a concept. That is the concept which we will explain within this third point. As it is again in different shape, what does it mean? The bond angle between the bond, the bonded pair, the, the force of repulsion between bonded pair is decreasing. Force of lone pair acting upon bonded pair is increasing. Due to that reason, what happened there itself? Shape, actual shape of the molecule is there. It can be get disturbed or it can be get changed and form a new shape of the molecule. Coming to fourth point. Fourth point are having three different points. Within the three different points, first two points we can give it as nothing but by first two points, one molecules will form, those molecules are called as deficient molecules. What are called as a deficient molecule? I will explain later on. After explaining these two points, I will explain about deficient molecule. First of all, coming to the first point, if there are only two bonded pairs around central atom, Without lone pair, there is no lone pair also. No lone pair is there, only two bonded pair. This is one bond pair, this is one bond pair. Best example for that one is what? We can give it as beryllium chloride molecule. Beryllium chloride molecule is the best example. So, it is having one bond pair, it is having another bond pair. Such that the bond pair, bond pair angle will be equal to 180 degrees as they are not having no lone pair. No lone pair is existing, then the bond angle between those two bonded pairs will be equal to 180 degrees. And the shape of the molecule, if you say it up, shape of the molecule will be there as a linear or straight line, also we can give it up. That is first point. And coming to beryllium electronic configuration. We know clearly beryllium electronic configuration. Atomic number is 4. 1s2, 2s2 only. 2s1, 2px1. And it is having 4 electrons. So what happened? That 2s2, 2px1, 2s1 as well as 2px1. Here one electron will be get shed and here one electron. 1, 2, 3, 4 electrons are existing. 4 plus 2. Four electrons are not existing, therefore, as it is as it is not having eight electrons in valency shell, we we'll call this particular molecule as deficient molecule. Coming to the next point, what is that one? If there are existing three bond pairs, by the three bond pairs, what happened? The three covalent bonds are formed, and there is not existing any lone pair. Without lone pair is existing, that there is no existence of any lone pair. Then how many bonds will be formed here? One, two, three bonds will be formed. Such that the bond angle between these three bonded pair will be equal to 120 degrees. And the shape of the molecule is called as trigonal planar shape. Here also boron is having six electrons. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six electrons are existing. It is also having two electrons less. When it comes to beryllium chloride, it is having four electrons per itself. One, two, three, four, five, six. Four electrons as well as six electrons. Deficiency of octet configuration. Here it is having four electrons less. Here it is having what electron per itself we can call it a six electron, two electrons less. Therefore, the molecules which we, when they are not existing octet configuration and having less of the particular electrons and all the electrons are being participated in bond formation and there is no existence of any electron, unpaired electron, we'll call the particular molecules as deficient molecules. These are the two points of this particular concept. Okay, children. Next to fourth point. In fourth point, already we have discussed two points. Coming to third point. What does third point indicate? If there are three covalent bonds, or if there are four covalent bonds, it means four bonded pairs of electrons are existing, and there is no existence of any lone pair. No possibility of existing any lone pair of electrons around the central atom. Then, 
that particular bounded pair will be get separated with an angle of 109 degrees 28 minutes. And the shape of the molecule is called as tetrahedral shape. See, the best example for that one is methane molecule whose formula is CH4. If you go for carbon atom, four electrons are the unpaired electrons, and those four electrons are shaped by four hydrogen atoms and form four covalent bonds. Means four bonded pairs are existing. There is no possibility of existing any lone pair of electron. At that particular time, what is the bond angle? We found the bond angle is 1928 minutes, and the shape of the molecule is called as tetrahedral shape. Coming to the fourth point there itself. Within this particular molecule, best example is what? My ammonia molecule here. Only three pairs of bonded pairs are there and one lone pair is existing. See here, this is lone pair. One, two, three. Three bonded pairs are existing. At that time, these lone pair will be applying more repulsive force on these bonded pairs and occupy more space around the central atom of the nuclei. Due to that reason, the shape, actual shape has been what way? With this angle of 109, 28 minutes, shape has been get reduced. Bond angle between bonded pairs has been get reduced and a new bond angle we got that is 107, 48 minutes. And this molecule has attaining a new shape. That shape is called as trigonal pyramidal shape. As it is having one lone pair, shape has been get changed from Coming to next one, that is what fifth point. What does the fifth point gives us? If there are two bonded pairs and two lone pairs, see here, this is one lone pair, this is one lone pair, this is one bonded pair, this is one bonded pair. Then one lone pair has been getting increased. So more repulsive force will be acting around the nuclei of central atom. Due to that reason, the bond angle will be decreases the bonded pair, the, the force of repulsion between the bond angle between the central atom, hydrogen, oxygen and hydrogen will be gradually reduces from 107 degrees, it will decrease to 104 degrees, 31 minutes. Due to that reason, it is attaining a new shape, that shape is called as V-shaped molecule. Best example is water molecule we can what does, we, what does it mean? This VSPERP theory, VSEPERP theory explains about bond angle. What, does, what is meant by bond angle here? This is central atom you take it up, this is another atom you take it up, this is another atom you take it up. By drawing two imaginary lines, I have drawn two imaginary lines. Such that those two imaginary lines are passing from center of the nuclei of Bonded element, bonded atom of element with central atom. Similarly, bonded element of atom with central atom through the nucleus, two lines are passing. As they are sustaining, as they are passing two lines, an angle has been get formed by these two imaginary lines which are passing from center of the nucleus. That particular angle is called as bond angle. Coming to draw back, this VSEPRP theory is also having Certain drawbacks, two drawbacks are there. First drawback is it said about, it did not explain clearly about strength of bond. How much strength does a bond exist? It is forming a bonded pair here we got it, but how much strength does the particular bond is existing could not be given clear explanation. Why? as this concept is dealing about Lewis dot structure formation of covalent bond only. As we are considering Lewis dot structure formation of covalent bond, it could not even set of the bond there itself. Coming to the second point, it could not give a more explanation about electronic nature of covalent bond. Electronic nature of covalent bond, how an electron plays a role, more information, it could not give a clear explanation. 
So to overcome these two drawbacks, one more theory came into existence. The theory is called as valency bond theory, which is proposed by Pauling. Tomorrow we will discuss about the particular valency bond theory. By this, we have completed our concept called as valency shell electron pair repulsion theory. From this theory, what would be the worksheet for us? Directly, you may ask question for four marks. Of write the important points of valency bond theory, or individually. From the fourth point, we can segregate fourth point into five different blocks. If there is a two covalent bond individually for two marks for one mark, he can segregate fourth point. Five points are there. Those five points he can ask individually for two marks or one mark. The next one is what bond angle definition. Directly we ask for one mark. And two marks. One more thing is what drawbacks of VSEPRP theory. What are the drawbacks of valency shell electron pair repulsion theory? Two marks question you can ask it. So children, try to concentrate on this particular topic. Worksheet also will be directly for four marks in class. Individually, each point can be asked for one mark or two marks. Or drawbacks of VSEPRP, you can also ask for two marks. Thank you. Tomorrow we will again we will have a continue our class with the valency bond theory.